Hello and welcome to another update video about Fetch AI. So on the FET chart, we see further upside. The market might have started the next move up, which would be wave five in the white count or in the yellow count, it's just a third wave. That's the problem with this structure. It's a bit ambiguous, um, but it looks as if, yeah, FET likes to form another high. And as I said, you know, it would be in the white count a fifth wave. It would just not be a five wave move to trust. I wouldn't trust this fifth wave. Um, it could simply be wave C of three. All right, that's the problem with this structure. It is just a little bit too, too ambiguous. How would the yellow count look like? Well, the yellow count would be this wave one, wave two, and then A, B, C and three then a four, then a five. That's a problem that's quite common with diagonal patterns, which is why these patterns are typically difficult to trade. Which one it is, we will only find out later, but they both allow for further upside from here. And the condition would be that the Friday low is holding. That is the $1 level. So that level clearly must hold. And that's the make or break point for this scenario. The next resistance level, Okay, we've got the swing high here from the 27th of August, but just above that, we've got this swing high from the 15th of July, or yeah, the 17th of July, and that is at $1.55. So the area around 155 to 147, 147 to 155 seems to be key resistance. That's also a breakout point above that level. The next level is $1.86, and that's also an important Fibonacci level. Why is that an important Fib level? Because if we take a look at the 100% um, extension here of the A wave in yellow, then this points towards 186, these two, yeah? In the third wave, we have an ABC structure, as I just showed you, because it's a diagonal pattern. And you might know that a C wave often reaches the 100% extension. Can go above it, absolutely no problem. There isn't really an official maximum. Well, kind of, but it's not the 100%. So there, there could be further upside. But what I want to highlight is that this could be an important pivot because it is the 100% extension plus a key previous uh, swing high and resistance level. So, but we need obviously these five waves minimally in the white count. It would be clearer in the in the yellow count for a very clear five wave pattern to the upside, okay? And once we have it, so after the next high, we can add a support area for yellow wave four, but maybe even for a wave two pullback already because in the white wave count, we can then call that wave one. So it would be the 78.6 retracement of this rally that started on the 5th of August. And in whatever the price, you know, whatever the price is doing, the price should not break below that level then in that case, not it's not below the 78.6 FIB level. Um, but yeah, at the moment, it's only three waves up. Cryptos have a good day today, but the last few days weren't so good. I have to say, however, that FET did hold up quite well. We don't even have an overlap with wave one. So it is short term quite strong. It did show some strength in the short term. Um, but yeah, you know, important is now in the short term not to break below the Friday low anymore before or until another high is made because we need those five waves and yeah it wouldn't look healthy with one more low so if you imagine this this wouldn't look this would look clearly like a three wave move so it would be even more ambiguous okay so it would be really good for the bulls to just get that fifth wave done then we might give the bulls the benefit of the doubt even though the yellow count would look clearer. But I think levels are clear, yeah? And the main support level for the bulls on this chart is still the 52 cent level. And we're holding it. We, we did even hold the 75 cent level, which is that key level here, the 50% retracement, which is very important for a fourth wave as well. And I already added here before, ideally the price holds here. Well, it did. Um, now we just need to see if the next five wave move up can form. So the larger fifth wave to the upside can send us to the next FIP targets in the $5 region. That's the update about FET. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment 
and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.